What's going on, mother truckers? I had a lot of mother truckers, and Daniel Garcia let me know that this was very devastating. You know, basically, one dead after they stated a stolen 18 wheeler crashes into a Texas DPS building, multiple others seriously injured, right? And so, this is like their DMV. So, today is Friday. What I want you to picture is a truck driver is trying to get a renewal on Thursday and he does not get his renewal for his CDL. And so what does he do? He rams his semi truck into the DMV. At the end of this video, it will be a public announcement from the law enforcement. But I hate to have my opinion on this bit. Why would they make the public announcement right there? just almost right in the middle of the highway. They might as well have done it on the media. It says here, a Texas semi-trailer driver rammed a stolen 18 wheeler through the front of a public safety building where his renewal for a commercial driver's license has been rejected, killing one person and injuring 13 others. This single story brick building off a highway in Brenham, a rural town outside of Houston, littered debris in the parking lot and left a gaping hole in the entrance. The crash damaged the front of the red semi-trailer, which was hauling materials on a flatbed. And then he ran into our building. We have several people that were injured and, and one is deceased at this time. Again, Justin will get into all those. This is a tragic day for us. Tragic day, my heart and, and goes out, my heart and prayers goes out to the family members of those that are injured as well as those that are injured. We have multiple agencies that are here that are assisting to include Washington County, Brenham PD, the FBI, and as well as all the resources that we have with the Texas DPS. So we have the Texas Rangers, the Texas Highway Patrol, and the Criminal Investigation Division. So I'll step back. I'll step back and let Justin, uh, Sergeant Ruiz, come up and give you guys the details. Thank you all for being here. Really, really, really appreciate y'all. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is a sad day for DPS and for all the people that were involved, uh, all the customers that we had in our building today uh, for today's incident. Uh, a Washington County Sheriff's deputy and other law enforcement were behind this 18-wheeler. Uh, it was reported stolen. Uh, when they saw the vehicle, it was on State Highway 36 over here on this side of 290 by the McDonald's. The driver fled from law enforcement and came here on, on 290 going westbound, took the, uh, the feeder loop under 290, the main highway, uh, and went east back on 290 feeder. Uh, the stolen 18-wheeler took a hard right turn and went into the DPS Brenham office. The suspect is Clintard Parker, who is 42, from Chapel Hill. Parker was taken into custody and taken to the Washington County Sheriff's Department. Parker was taken, or Parker did come to the DPS uh, Brenham office yesterday at approximately 3 or 4 p.m., where he was denied his commercial driver license. He then uh, while he was there, the driver's license staff advised Parker that he was not eligible to uh, renew his commercial driver's license. Two people were flown to CHI St. Joseph's and Bryan. One person was flown to Memorial Hermann Hospital in Houston. Three were transported to Scott and White here in Brenham and have been released. And eight were treated and released on the scene of the incident. Unfortunately, one person has to come to their injuries and died at the hospital. Criminal, the, this is a criminal investigation that is being led by the Texas Rangers. Parker is facing multiple felony offenses and victim support services for DPS he is on the scene at the family reunification, which is at the Brenham Police Department. Any questions? Does the driver have any weapons on him at the time? That's all under investigation. His name is going to be Clinard Parker, C-L-E-N-A-R-D Parker. Does he have previous charges? That's under investigation. Can you talk to us about the deceased person? Which hospital did he or she die at? Do you know the approximate age and the male? We're, we're not going to release that information right now because it's still uh, very fresh. And so family notification still has to be made. Was that person a state employee?